Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, just looking at the breastplate, uh, the that piece of ancient armor mm -hmm. that protected the breast. Mm -hmm. This word is used figuratively in Ephesians six fourteen, yeah, <laughs> and Isaiah fifty nine seventeen. <laughs> An ornament covering the breast of the high priest, first mentioned in Exodus twenty five seven. <laughs> It was made of embroidered cloth set with four rows of precious stones, three in each row. <laughs> On each stone was engraved the name of one of the twelve tribes. <laughs> Exodus twenty eight, fifteen to twenty nine and thirty nine to eight twenty one. <laughs> it was in size about ten inches square. <laughs> uh, and the two upper corners were fastened to the ephod by uh, blue ribbons. Yes. It was not to be loosed from the ephod. <laughs> the lower corners were fastened to the girdle of the priest. <laughs> As it reminded the priest of his representative character, it was called the memorial. Uh -huh. And the breastplate of judgment. Oh, see priest. Yes. Uh -huh. Now, uh, my thought was that I'd rather see some breasts mm -hmm, of those that wanted to volunteer uh, for lunches. Yes. Mm -hmm. See, um, as I understand it, there was the availability of using the hands of a man, yes, to lock, yes, the breasts of a woman so that you could stuff their breasts full of memories that they didn't want to remember, <clears throat> or they were unable to remember. Oh. Now, um, I've been wanting to speak to Marilyn about her involvement of what Mike's been doing, yes. And I think that Mike probably did lock a lot of breasts to his own wife without her knowledge. <laughs> see, I did see what Heidi was doing, yes. But Marilyn did not see uh -huh, what Mike was doing, yes. Now, I would say that when you sent notices of court hearings to 1023 Kitchen Dick Road, yes. If it was an actual church sanctuary, there was the uh, obligation of the ordained, yes, to inform the court that I was no longer living there. Oh. But if the actual location of the fifth wheel, uh -huh, where I got served numerous times and I was arrested, yes, was private property that had been sold to somebody else, yes, as it said on Zillow, yes, then I was living on the property of somebody that didn't have or was not an employee of the church. Oh, <laughs> now it would be a surprise to me, yes, that there's a third party liable, yes, for the court orders that were sent to 1023 Kitchen Dick Road, yeah, that happened to be the fifth wheel that had um, an electricity, uh huh, box, yes, that got turned off on me in the middle of winter. Mm -hmm. Now, it was in 2012, because I'll, I'll look on Zillow today. Yes, I might even take some screen prints. <laughs> did the owner of the property that purchased it in 2012, uh -huh, did that owner know that they were legally liable for court notices that were not being sent to Mike, but they were being sent to the new owner? Oh, oh, oh. Now, I would have thought that any person that purchased that property, yes, where it was my actual residence, mm -hmm. if they found out that the individual that sold them the property, yes, had intentionally been sending court notices to the new owner, not only would I sue for... <laughs>